Y'all, this story is completely terrifying. It's text with terrifying backstories, and it gets dark and dark and dark and dark. This is a warning, mature audience. Let's get into this video. Now, this girl named Casey texts one of her friends that she didn't text in a long while. Now, somebody who she knew, which was his cousin, she heard that he died. So, she texted him and she said, sorry for your loss. I guess he didn't know who she was at the time or she got a new number. Something, but he says, who is this? Casey, I know we haven't spoken forever. I'm sorry. Hey, Mousy. Ugh, Mousy? You calling people Mousy? That's ugh. Y'all like that? You like Mousy? Hey, Mousy. <laughs> How are you holding up? Not very well. I'm going absolutely insane i lost a friend recently too this year has been terrible and i also lost a friend to gun violence hanging around the wrong crowd got himself into some situations he should have never been in realize who you hang around it's not worth it back to the story though he says you have no idea she says if you ever want to talk i'm here thanks i just don't think anyone will believe me believe you question mark a few months ago i found this phone at my door don't pick it up you could probably be getting traffic you see a random phone and you picking it up and it looks iffy? Leave it! Mind y'all, I'm going into this story blind just like you. So I don't know what's going to happen next. But it's getting weird. <laughs> weird how? You found out who left it for you? No, but I couldn't find my camera and I had to shoot a wedding reception. I had no choice but use it. Okay. Then he sends this photo of a girl in a wedding dress. Now this photo does look beautiful, but it's something darker behind it. She's beautiful. Mmm. She's dead. Minutes after I took this photo, she fell off that structure. It was beyond horrific uh seeing someone die is devastating yeah but it's my fault wait how is your fault that she died question mark and then he sends this photo of this man at a training station don't know who this man is don't know if this is him or not but he sends this man then he says right after i took this he jumped in front of the train okay so it's not him oh my gosh then he sends another photo of a guy sitting down on the cliff looking out into this beautiful view. But we all know it's not about to be something good. He's going to text back. Remember my cousin? I took this. Minutes later, he slipped and fell to his death. And then he sends this picture full of people out in the grass having a good picnic with beautiful weather. And says, this was at Highland Park where all of those people were poisoned. Oh, yes, this is 911. Okay, what is going on there? There's one, two, three, four, five people. Okay, do you know what they took? WTF. Every time I take a photo, Casey, they die. That's crazy. Casey, what are you doing around this dude? Block him. I would not be conversating with somebody like this at all, even if it is a prank. And then he sends another photo, and you see these people riding their bikes. But what can possibly go wrong? We're in the middle of nowhere, and this car comes and run them over. No one lived. All right, now you're just going too far. Now you're just egging it on and egging it on and egging it on. Like, come on. It's no way possible, humanly possible, that someone is just snapping all of these pictures and just capturing all of these people. Die. No. Just no. But, of course, he keeps going and he sends another girl in this water looking pretty terrified. And then he sends a man on this railroad surrounded by nothing but trees looking down in the daylight. And he sends one more picture and it's a man sitting on this tree in the woods. And then he texts and he says, you see the pattern? Basically the pattern that he's simply talking about, we all know, he takes a picture and someone passes away but he sends a picture of his ex and he says i started dating her after you she was so happy i hated myself knowing what i'd done i thought about taking a selfie and how by doing so i'd save life and then of course she's responds and she says you're not pranking me because let's be honest none of this sound real none of this is too good to be not too good to be true but it's too crazy to be true i wish i was but no nor could i take a picture of myself yes you can just get the camera and take the picture throw the phone away i tried i tossed it in the dumpster next morning when i woke up it was there again by my bed <sighs> i'm done with this story like this is not no movie you think a phone just gonna appear right next to you i do want to see how this ends though because it's no way this girl is buying this right <laughs> it's no way just don't touch it she's buying it oh. <laughs> I can't help myself. I feel like I have to pick it up and use it. I can't help it. I thought at first it was a bad thing, but then maybe this is what I'm supposed to do. Maybe I've been chosen to pick who lives or who dies. You're scaring me. So what, Casey? I've been told you to block him and you still texting this. It's on you, whatever happens to you. And then he says, Casey, you only 10 minutes away. LOL. So not funny. And then he sends multiple pictures and multiple pictures and multiple pictures. And what she do? She texts him back. And guess what? She says, who are they? Proceeding to text him over and over and over again. 
she's not learning. But he says, people I watched leave from their homes, then waited for them to die and robbed them. This is a crazy game that's being played on this girl right now. WTF, this girl is pissing me off. The reason why is because she's She's still texting this dude like I just wanna like I can now do anything that I want to hashtag getting rich WTF question mark question mark question mark Sometimes you have to be honest about who you are. I have to go. Zook is barking for food. I always hated that dog. Now look You leave animals out of this. Whoa, calm down Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> no seriously, leave animals out of this. Leave animals out of this. Leave them out of this. Your brother's death has messed with your head. None of this is your fault. You don't believe me. So very typical of you. I don't believe you either. Of course I don't. BS. There we go, KC! About time you tell him how it is. We don't believe you. You're not a good friend. And you're not a good person. No, I am. You just need help dealing with reality. She used to call her a female dog. And I'm not about to say that. <laughs> KC, you're a beautiful young lady. Zuki is barking at the front door. I have to go. And then he sends a picture of Zuki. Barking at the front door. Now we're about to see what's about to happen next. I just got the goosebumps. This dog better live. Like, I'm being serious right now. She texts back. She says, WTF. Your proof is coming. Get the hell away from my house. A-hole, before I call the police. If they come anywhere near me, I'll take their photos. Nothing scares me anymore. OMG, what did you do? Wait, something happened to the dog? Zuki's dead. Oh, really? Casey, how did your dog pass away? Probably just did something to the food. Closing curtains won't help. Screw you. No, Mousy. Stop saying that. No, Mousy. You can't stay hiding forever. When you come out, I'll be waiting. I might not get you tonight. Dot, dot, dot. You might even live beyond tomorrow, but sometime when you least expect it, I'll be there. And you will have only one thing left to do. Yeah? What's that? Say cheese. Okay, everybody say cheese. Now, that was a creepy text story. If y'all want more of these, let me know. Because I'm mad at Casey because she's still sitting here texting him. Should have blocked him. Okay, so only a thousand of you know about this video I'm about to upload because I archived it. But I decided to put it back on my YouTube because I feel like y'all gonna like videos like this. Let me know in the comments if y'all want more videos like this. You about to see what I'm talking about. Enjoy it. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Two years ago. I know, old story, but y'all have to know what went down in this. I went to Mardi Gras. Y'all know I live in New Orleans. I'm a Nola baby. But I go to a parade. It's Mardi Gras season. I go with one of my friends, but I split up from one of my friends because I always like to do my own thing. And people be kind of worried because I be going out adventuring and don't come back. <laughs> Until like two, three hours later. So I went out to go adventure. Just to go vibe. To, you know, just to, you know, go do my own thing. My own doodle bop. It's crazy how I talk about strangers a lot and don't trust strangers. And here I am going out and adventuring by myself, trusting strangers. And I meet these group of girls. No, 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 no. First, I meet this guy. It was two of them. Very, very chill. They was like, yeah, we renting out a house just around the block. You want to come inside the house? We got buku food. You could come eat with us on some like normal stuff. Me being stupid. I was like, okay, they invite me to eat. Let's go. Because when I was at the parade with them, I was just vibing out with them, having a good time. They was like, oh, you a cool guy. Come with us, come eat, you hungry? And I didn't care, they could have kidnapped me, did anything. I was like, cool, I ain't even was thinking about that. I go in, beautiful girls in this building. You tired, bro? Am I tired? Yeah. No, I'm tired. <laughs> All of the food on the table as well. And I just started enjoying my day with them. Then next, it was like, you know what? You want to leave with us? You want to get out of here? I said, yeah. I said, like, they really could have done whatever to me if they really wanted to. But that that wasn't the case. So I said, yeah, it was me, the two other guys, and it was like five females. The guys was like, the two guys was like, yeah, you can't ride in the back seat with us because we got so much stuff in the back seat. You're going to have to ride with the girls. Yeah, we might as well go. I'm good. I'm good. Wait, let's, 
Where's what at? Come on, we gotta go. Y'all gonna all have to squeeze in the back. So I squeeze in the back with the girls and we go to this park. That's y'all picture? Yeah. All right, hold up, hold up, oh my God. hold up. And then they just set out all of this food at the park because I guess they just wanted to wild out and swim in the lake. <laughs> no! no. <laughs> So basically, we started having a little party at this park. I'm starting to meet these girls. I'm starting to have fun with them. And then it was like, yeah, later on tonight, if you want to, you can sleep at my house. <sighs> Pass Ross, why did you want it to go with them home, you nasty? I'm like, why they being so sweet? I'm like, hey, if you want me to, I guess if you insist. <laughs> So, you know, we have fun and then we go to the house at night. And this is where it's about to get a little crazy at. So we throw another little party at the house. Now, when I say party, it's just only like seven, eight of us there. But really throwing a party there with just the minimum of, of us there. That's like a thing out, yo. Now, them two girls that I got real close with doing the time at the park from all the way to the time at the parade, they was like, yeah, so you know, the couch is gonna be full, but if you want to, you can sleep in my bed because I'm at one of their houses. And guess what? The other girl gonna sleep in the bed with me too. <laughs> so look, so look, we was still partying, having a good time, and I do not ever drink to get like, white girl wasted to get drunk i i probably would drink a little bit just to get that little buzz but i get high off of life as corny as that sound like i really don't do nothing like a lot of my family members smoke i don't do nothing so i go to drink and then all of a sudden i get tired out of nowhere i'm like what what happened to me because i was up like wide awake 30 minutes ago dancing having fun going crazy and now i'm just completely tired i go in the room that she told me to go in <laughs> and i go to sleep Till this day, I don't know what happened that night when I was in bed, but I think I was low key kidnapped and drugged by white girls on a on a on a low. <laughs> because look, I have too much story times about some crazy stuff. Till this day, I I don't know what happened that night because when I woke up, I was completely naked. What? Completely. And I went to sleep when I when remember when I told you I went to sleep that night, it was probably around like 1, 2 a.m. I went to bed with my clothes on. Not only that, I was the first one to go to bed. Everybody else was still dancing, having fun, doing whatever they wanted to do. I was the first one to fall out. I drunk that drunk. I, I drunk that drink and I got really tired. I went to bed. Woke up completely naked. I'm like, what the hell happened that night? Now mind you, you might be like, did you wake up next to the two girls? I did. And it was like in a bikini and I woke up. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> I said a whole bikini. I meant like underwear and a t-shirt. I said, what happened? They said nothing. You went to bed and you just decided to take off all of your clothes because you was extremely hot in the middle of the night. I've never in my life done that. I don't, I like, I, I done sipped a lot of times. I've never in my life got too hot to where I need to take everything off. It just didn't make sense. And when I went to bed, I wasn't drunk. So I'm like, what, for real? They both was like, yeah. Till this day, I don't know what happened that night. <laughs> That's That was a crazy, cra like, yeah. <laughs> you wanna know something else that's so funny about this whole situation? I still have both of those females so on Snap. It's not like we talk or anything like that, but I don't know. I don't think they done anything with me or to me. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, crazy, I know. <laughs> all right, now look, boom. After all of this, after talking with them, after putting on clothes, after everything, I finally pick up my phone. I got like 30, 40 missed calls because you gotta remember, yesterday I came with my friend. I left, I didn't even tell him that I left. I just left. So he calling me, I'm not answering. He calling my family. They like, we don't know where he's at. They, my family now calling me. I ain't picking up because I'm too lit doing whatever I'm doing. They think I'm missing. They think something done happened to me at this parade. I'm like, oh, wow. Just wait till I tell them this story. <laughs> I call my friend. My friend like, what the hell you doing? Like, where you at? You laughing? You didn't tell me nothing? Like, he, he was like, 
mad because he thought he thought the worst and i didn't blame him because i didn't even say nothing now it's like yeah no i'm good i'm gonna tell you about it later it's really a long story which it really was a long story wait if y'all want more story times let me know because remember it's up to y'all i just wanted to let y'all know some crazy things that go on in my life and i have plenty of stories with some crazy videos of course and of course y'all will keep getting the dark mystery true crime all of the other usual stuff i post but if y'all want this from time to time let me know and i will provide it's just up to y'all though make sure y'all like the video i believe i had something to say so i'ma just finish but yeah y'all that that was crazy though <laughs> that was great